So this is it. This is the final resting place. This is what we're all looking for. And you think I'm going to step aside and show you something, do you? It's nowhere here. But it's here. Thich Nhat Hanh drew a circle once. And it made sense. There was a gap in the circle. The beginning. The final resting place is this beginning. When you go full circle. The bubble pops at the beginning. The bubble started at the beginning and it pops when it returns to the beginning. So pops has popped. There's nothing to do, you see. There's no more to speak about. The final resting place, you see, is a thing that you've been told to avoid. And that's the hole under the ground, you know, in the furnace. Now the final resting place. Think about it. When you wake up in the morning, you're in your bed, about to start in your day, and you return to your bed at night. So you go back to the final resting place where you began your day. All of this and no one here to say anything about it anymore. This remains. Body goes. But where does it go, you see? It doesn't go anywhere. You don't go anywhere. Consciousness cannot go anywhere. Infinite life. Appearing and disappearing. Final resting place for this one. Not this body and mind. This consciousness that exists as it is has reached the final resting place. Back to the beginning. <laughs> There's nothing you can speak about this. This is here. You, the one, are here ness. See? You are the essence of all of this, the scent, the sweetness. Your mind tastes sour and sweet. But you can never not be sweet, never not be still. All of this is contentment, you see. The final resting place is contentment. No more ups and downs. Contentment because you have succeeded. You have reached home. You have seen all of this external world and you have seen all of the internal world in a body. Mind has been of great benefit. And it will continue to benefit. Nothing speaking to nothing. 
circle never unbroken. You are never anywhere separate in this circle. You are the circle of life. So, so many words, so many advice, so many instructions, so many ramblings, so many useless pieces of information. You find your own way home. You find your final resting place. There is no end. See, the beginning can have no end. Always beginning. If you're in it now and you realize it, it's great, isn't it? On your own. You find it on your own. It's much more worthy when you do it by yourself. You become pure consciousness again. Okay, there's no more you. There's no more desires, wants, needs, and there's no more gains or losses. There's only things that appear to be happening, and you appear to be in a body witnessing them. But even even presence goes, even hereness goes, nowness goes. Awareness grows. You become completely non-existent. Because at the beginning, you had to take life. And when you return to the beginning, the sense of taking life is all that exists. That newness that sprouting because I'm beginning again you see new circle new world new name maybe maybe Popsy will be gone tomorrow on YouTube a new one you know a new me What is the result of this final resting place? Everything is the same. I love everything. I love every single thing. That's not the mind speaking. That is the pure consciousness speaking about itself. I cannot not love. It does not compute anymore in this computing body. You can do anything. You can call names, you can take my property, you can take my body, you can take my whole world, and I'll still love you. I will still love you, whoever you are. Namaste, Popsi, overnight. One moment.